just about to go swimming in a sinkhole which is 47 meters deep. Not sure why I'm doing this, but let's go. Hello and welcome back to another episode. We have crossed the border into South Australia and we are in Mount Gambia. In this video, we are gonna to go to three amazing places. So if you are planning a trip here or you're looking for inspiration for your trip to Australia, this is the perfect video for you. Keep watching because at the end of the video, I'm planning to go for a dip in a sinkhole where it's 47 meters deep. So that'd be fun. Bit of story time here. So if you want to fast forward I put a chapter in the YouTube video so you can skip this part if you don't want to hear a story time. We stayed at a town in Victoria called Nelson and I accidentally filled up the water tank with boar water. Now, to be fair, the owner running the park did say drink the rainwater. I spoke to Rach and we decided to fill up from the mains. Then we got across the border into South Australia and I tasted the water and I was like, that tastes a bit weird. Anyway, I drank about half a litre. I started to get stomach pains. I asked Rach to try it. Rach tasted it and it tasted horrible. And then we Googled it, it's boar water, which we didn't know was a thing that was on mains water in Australia. We shouldn't drink it. Last night we had to, we we're about to cook dinner. We had to pack up the tray on, drive to McDonald's. We had a McDonald's for dinner and then we got bottled water. So yeah, we've had to empty the tank. We have to clean the tank and then refill it. So yeah, it's all part of the um, life on the road. Anyway, that ends the story time back to where we are. So this is the Blue Lake. It's one of the most famous places in Mount Gambia. And Mount Gambia is the second most populated city in South Australia behind Adelaide. Yeah, this is absolutely stunning here. And yeah, can't wait to check out the rest of Mount Gambia. This is the, uh, the Blue Lake. Here's Rach. Hello. How you doing Rach? <laughs> Good. You excited to be here? Very excited. South Australia, baby. Just reading the sign here. This is the water supply for the town. And also this particular blue color, actually it turns blue in November for the summer. So it stays this blue until March time. So if you're coming here between November and I guess, yeah, March is the best time to visit to see this beautiful blue color. Otherwise it turns gray. So just fascinating really how it can change color. Yeah, it's about 70 meters deep. At the minute, we're actually walking around the perimeter. So it's just over three kilometers. This is the layers of ash from the volcano. You can see them there. This is brilliant. It's really cool to see it from the sky. And yeah, it's just a lovely little walk. I can't believe how well the drone performs. If you're looking for a drone, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is just absolutely brilliant. So I'll put a link to it in the description. I'm using everything DJI now. The Action 4, the microphone and the drone all work seamlessly. Very happy with it, so thought I'd share. So we made it back to the car. You can't cross the main road here, you need to go in, in the tunnel underneath. Yeah, now it's time to have lunch. Oh, it's windy. Oh, there. The next stop is Upperston Sinkhole. We think we're saying that right. But look at this. This is a, a garden built quite a while ago, actually. The sinkhole was the focal point of the garden. So look at this. Time to go to the Little Blue Lake. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so just arrived at the Little Blue Lake. Just about to go swimming in a sinkhole, which is 47 meters deep. Not sure why I'm doing this, but let's go. So the Little Blue Lake was well worth checking out. It wasn't that cold. Apparently it's 12 degrees all year round, we heard someone say. Don't know if that's true. We've now left the Little Blue Lake. We're now at the Blue Lake again. We saw this viewpoint when we were walking around. Great place to stop. We're gonna have a snack and a cup of tea and then off to camp. What do you think of the uh, Little Blue Lake, Rach? It was really nice. It was fun to watch you swim. We are hungry and thirsty and tired, so and tired. time for a tea. The fly. Oh. Our snack of choice is cottage cheese with hot sauce for me and sweet chili for Rach. It's so good. Don't knock it till you try it. it took me ages to convince Rach to try cottage cheese. And I was so stubborn. I was like, I'm not eating cottage cheese. It's so gross. And now I'm obsessed with it. I want to eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Shout out to Jules for introducing cottage cheese into my life and Jules. Tea. Tea. My biscuits. How very English of you. We've changed Yum. from coffee to tea in the afternoon. Yeah, two coffees a day is not good for anyone. So now we've got tea and biscuits. It's so wholesome. Okay, so we've made it back to camp. We're staying at the showgrounds because we need water, as mentioned earlier. If you did skip the story time. Yeah, we need water to replace the mistake I made yesterday, but all good. It's all part of it. We tasted this water and we're not sure if it's good or bad water. We're not sure if we're paranoid. Stay tuned. We'll let you know in the next episode. But that wraps up our video here how to spend a day in Mount Gambia. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because we are releasing weekly episodes and we will see you very soon.